Well, for this week's Weed of a Week, we've got an interesting one. It's been a, kind of a love-hate relationship I've had with it all. I wasn't sure of, is it nice? Is it something you really want? Or is it just an absolute nightmare? And it's actually both. It's down here. Come and have a close-up look at that. Let me introduce you to Herb Robert. And some of you will recognize it as being part of a geranium, the hardy geranium. I'm going to sit on my lion's head. But it does, this time of year, actually have a very pretty little flower. Five petals, pink, sometimes white. And if you look down the stems, it's kind of a little hairy. So Herb Robert, I don't know who Robert was, but uh, I've got a, a bigger one over here I've noticed. Come and have a look at this one. This will show you what it does when you give it a bit of room. All right, it's invading my dog compound here, my concrete canine compound. This is what it can do. Look how quickly it spreads out. Again, same flowers. Um, when you touch the stems, those hairs have got a little gland on them and they leave a kind of a sticky residue on your hand. And you can smell it. It's got a very distinct kind of smell. So the flower is pretty this time of year, but the flower doesn't last long. But what's actually kind of cool about it in terms of a weed, if anything can put such a thing, is it's very easy to weed. It's got very shallow roots. Look at this, I'm gonna pull the plant, hardly putting any pressure on it. Just pops right up. So that is, uh, by its other name, it's known as Stinky Bob, which is quite appropriate. It's the geranium family. Herb Robert is the other name. It's kind of brittle, very easy to weed. If you let the flowers set seed, then you'll have lots of them all over the place. And that's when it becomes a bit of a pain. So. I'm getting a full whiff of stinky bob hair, which is, <laughs> it's not quite that pleasant actually, really, is it? No, 